McLean. It's Miller now. Six changes for St. Johnson this evening from that defeat up in Inverness on Tuesday night. Miller back to Stephen McLean. It's a good ball in, Considine away, only as far as Lappin! And didn't he strike that well? St. Johnson lead after half an hour. And it's Simon Lappin who scores his first goal for the club. Stephen McLean, who you'd usually expect to be in the middle, was aiming for Wetherspoon, and it just sat up perfectly for Lappin, and look at that for a connection. His first goal for two and a half years. Great strike. Derek McInnes desperately trying to encourage his side on. They dropped points against Dundee last weekend. They need a victory to overtake Celtic once more. It's flicked on by Goodwillie. It's Adam Rooney! How about that? An absolute stunner from Adam Rooney. And Aberdeen are level now. This is a quite magnificent strike. His 20th goal of the season. And it was quite simply unstoppable. Manus got a hand to it, but there was no keeping the ball out the back of the net. Tanzi to challenge. Goes in firmly on Redmond, who's hurt. But play on. This is Shinny. Oh, it's ended up in the back of the net. An own goal. Graham Shinny celebrates. It was his shot after Tanzi had battled for the ball. Mackay played in Shinny. His shot was saved. And Grant Gillespie was the unfortunate Aki's player. Inverness were comfortable 2-0 winners against St. Johnson on Tuesday night. Hamilton had a sore one. That Fur Hill 5-0 defeat for them. This is Mackay. And Draper tees up Nick Ross, and that's the second goal. And that should be enough to claim the three points for Inverness. These two now look to be eight points separated in the table. Inverness joining the title race. Beaton. And still. Gudetti nicely laid off to Commons. Deflected! And he's found the back of the net. It's taken Celtic 52 minutes. But Chris Commons with the aid of a very big deflection of Paul Quinn gives Celtic the lead. It's harsh on Ross County, the manner of the goal. Doubt. Telfer onto Connolly. Back it comes to Charlie Telfer. Good feet. Telfer! It's taken over an hour. But Dundee United have at last found the opening goal against Motherwell. Connolly with the corner. Fogut! It's a second for Dundee United. Just eight minutes between the goals, and Yaroslav Fogut. That's his fifth goal for the club. Sutton with the flick on to Moore. Plenty of support from Motherwell here. Ainsworth. Ainsworth to the byline. Ramson! They've got one back. And it's game on for Motherwell. Who've lost seven of their last eight games. They're determined that that doesn't become eight and nine. Great finish by Ramson, his first for the club. Chief Chief to Telfer. And when the game opens up, this is when Dundee United are at their most dangerous. Dow has Mackay Stephen in the middle. Or tees it up for Telfer. And what a cool finish from Charlie Telfer. The 19-year-old gets his double. Kenny McLean, oh, he's gone and scored! 
goals in successive games for Kenny McLean. He scored twice up at Dens on the 27th of December. And he's at it again against Dundee. Opened up by Thompson to Dyer. Willie Dyer trying to tease the challenge and goes round the outside. Good ball into Thompson again. Davidson it comes all the way through. It's Stuart Durbin. There's no flag. The goal stands and Dundee have found their equaliser and it's that man, Gary Irvin, his fourth since Christmas. Stewart on the left foot, gets it through, Davidson deflected! Dundee are ahead! Ian Davidson with his first goal since March of 2014. Kilmarnock have lost their last three. Partick Thistle are off the back of that superb 5-0 victory against Hamilton Ackies. Higginbotham. He's got Cregan inside, but Higginbotham eventually finds him at the second attempt. Cregan tees up Stevenson! And he's found the gap between Samson and the post. And inside two minutes, Ryan Stevenson has got Partick Thistle off to a flying start. Cregan teed it up, and Stevenson found the gap for his sixth goal of the season. Stevenson and loses out to McKenzie and a chance to break for Kilmarnock who haven't enjoyed much of the opening half hour or so but this is McGuinness and he beats Paul Gallagher and scores for the first time in 14 games Josh McGuinness from 20 yards Slater Goes all the way across, and there's Pascali! Kilmarnock are in front with 11 minutes left to play, and look what it means to the captain. O'Hara with the effort across goal, and Pascali couldn't miss from three yards out. He scored here in the game in September, he's done it again. Bannigan's free kick, Osman the target. McDade gets a touch! And it's Frederick Franz with an equaliser, six minutes from the end. Partick Thistle make it 2-2. Frederick Franz, the goal scorer. 